Let us travel now at the speed of light, departing from our home star on a trip across the cosmos toward the edge of the known universe. Our imaginary journey begins at midnight on January 1st when we prepare to launch into space at the speed of 186,000 miles per second. We quickly pass the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and span the 93 million miles that separate the Earth from the Sun in just 8 minutes 19 seconds. We continue on, passing Mars, then the gas giant planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Finally, after 5 hours and 31 minutes, we race past Pluto and its companion moon. Our journey has taken us more than three and a half billion miles to the outer limits of our solar system. And it's still January 1st. Now we alter our flight path and travel in a direction perpendicular to our galaxy. Behind us, the nine planets and the sun quickly vanish from sight. The emptiness of space is broken only by the light of stars so distant they do not yet appear to move. A year passes, then two years, three, four years. Finally, on April 19th of the fifth year, we reach Alpha Centauri the nearest star to our solar system. We have traveled more than 25 trillion miles and our journey has scarcely begun. We are now 10 light years from the sun, far enough out in space that the stars within our galaxy appear to converge. 100 light years from the sun, Patterns of gas and nebulous material from the arms of the Milky Way fill our view. 1,000 light years. The galaxy's arms and disk become more defined. Yet it is not until we have traveled at the speed of light for 100,000 years that the entire spiral shape of the Milky Way is recognizable. From here on, each point of light we see is no longer an individual star, but an entire galaxy composed of billions of stars. Five million years after beginning our journey, the Milky Way is seen as part of a cluster of about 30 galaxies, known as the local group. Fifty million light years out, we encounter the large Virgo cluster containing more than 2,000 galaxies. And so it goes, as our travels continue to take us deeper into the cosmos. We pass cluster after galactic cluster, each a building block of a far greater framework. A billion years pass. Five billion. Finally, after ten billion years, we decelerate and pause to observe a theoretical view of the universe's large-scale structure. Countless billions of galaxies are now seen to comprise chains, masses, and thread-like structures that stretch across the cosmos, separated by enormous regions of empty space. 
It is a spectacular tapestry, so vast and diverse in its design, that the power of its creator must truly surpass all human understanding.